Hey guys, it's me, your pal, Gorilla Gabe, and uh, or Gabrilla. I fucked it up. Whatever. It's new. We're working on it. Uh, so today I don't have a soda because my car is still broken down. It's in the shop, so it should be fixed soon. Um, but we're gonna do story time. So I'm gonna tell you the story of the two times I was stabbed in the head. Uh, the first time's not very exciting. It actually took place after the, or the second time. It took place after the first time, clearly. Uh, so I'll tell that story first. I called my brother Damien Fat. Uh, he stabbed me in the mouth with a fork. Uh, I got a stitch in my mouth. It's right there across my cupid's bow. The scraggly line that looks like I had a cleft palate or some shit. Uh, the other time was fucking hilarious. We were at my parents' house and we were fucking around and he told me not to call him Fat. This, this is a regular occurrence with us. And I told him he was a fat piece of shit because he was. And uh, he told me not to call him it again. So I did, naturally. Because I have ODD, and if you bait me, I'll do it. Um, and so he threw a knife across the room, and it was like a steak knife. It was probably about an inch and a half long, or like thick, I guess, like this way, down. And uh, it stuck in the back of my head so hard that I had to physically remove it. I remember when I felt it hit my head, I was like, fucking really, dude? And there was like blood running down my th shit, and he was freaking out because he had done that. And I was just kind of like, look, look what you did, you piece of shit. And so... He told me that if I didn't um, tell on him and tell my mom what happened, he would, we worked out a deal because I had an internet girlfriend at the time. Uh, her name was Monica. She was a Filipino. <laughs> she was a masseuse if you catch my drink. And, uh, no, not really. She's like a horrible lesbian now. Um, and I say horrible because she's like a crazy feminist and she munches that rug boy. Like, 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 anyways, I don't know who drools more, her or the pussy. But, uh, so I told my brother if he bought me a five dollar phone card at this gas station that sold him in town, because back then we didn't we only had a house phone and I didn't have a cell phone or no shit like that because it was like a million years ago back when there were dinosaurs, and um, it was a hundred and twenty minute phone card. I told him I wouldn't tell, so I didn't tell on him, and we drive to the hospital and the the knife's out of my head, but you know I, I had to get staples and I got this Muslim doctor and I really have nothing against Muslims, uh, but like. So, and I say that because of what goes on, but, uh, so he puts the first staple in, it's fine. Puts the second staple in, it's fine. And puts the third staple in and blood just starts gushing down my head. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Is that like, okay? And he's like, oh, maybe. And I'm like, no, no, I need someone who speaks English to tell me whether or not I'm going to die. And so he's like, oh, maybe it hit the vein. That's not the big deal. And I was like, uh, what? You know, like I was pretty freaking the fuck out because there's blood everywhere. So, uh, long story short, I was fine, and I had three staples in my head, and my mom used to have these irons, like, old-style, like, 1920s, like, you know, triangle irons that she had set up in the, her, uh, the dining room where this happened, and for years, we told my mother that I had leaned back in a chair and whammed my head into one of the irons, and I told the doctor that, too, and he's like, you know, I'm a doctor, I can tell it's a serrated cut, and I was like, nope, fell, and, uh, so, um, we told my mother that for years, and then one year... I think at like Thanksgiving or some shit, we told her, and oh my God, she was pissed. It was like the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. I let my brother stab me in the head for $5. I guess I'm a cheap date is the moral of the story. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. You guys want to see something funny? Check this out. What if I wore my pants like this? That's pretty great, isn't it? Now right, I'll see you later.